hi dear students this session will help you to know the various steps involved in the conversion of single entry system so here you will learn preparation of opening statement of affairs cash book debtors and bills receivable account so in detail i will explain you the various items that appears in the debtors and bills receivable account the next session we will work out problems for the same so following are the steps involved in converting single entry into double entry system so first step is preparation of opening statement of affairs second step is preparation of cash or bank account according to the balance given in the question third step is preparation of br debtors bp and creditors account step 4 will be preparation of trading and pl account last step is preparation of the balance sheet so these are the five steps involved in the conversion so we are going to learn in detail about each step which is involved in the conversion the very first step is statement of affairs so statement of affairs is like a balance sheet which shows the estimated value of assets and liabilities under single entry system opening statement of affairs the opening statement of affairs is like a balance sheet which shows the opening assets and liabilities of a concern as on the opening date so it is prepared to asset in either opening capital or opening debtors or opening creditors opening bp or opening br or opening cash in hand or at bank or sometimes even opening stock so opening statement of affairs is as good as a balance sheet so this is prepared to find out what is the opening capital as on the given opening date according to the requirement the missing items are found out in the opening statement of affairs like opening capital or sometimes opening debtors or sometimes opening liabilities also after ascertaining the opening capital by preparing opening statement the next account we have to prepare will be either cash or bank account depending on the balance given in the question here this cash or bank account is prepared to find out opening cash or closing cash or additional capital or drawings or expenses paid or income received so the cash or bank account is a real account that shows the total receipts and payments during the year and the resulting closing balance this account is prepared to find out the missing items such as opening cash or bank balance closing cash or closing bank balance or like amount received amount paid to creditors against bp or even cash sales and cash purchases etc so here see we bring down the balance of opening cash balance from the balance sheet so when we bring down the balance of opening cash balance in the balance sheet we will have to record this in the cash account as to balance brought down so imagine the balance sheet liabilities and assets asset side we have the cash balance been given that opening cash balance will come towards debit side of cash or bank account as to balance brought down and towards debit side we need to record all the receipts like cash sales cash received from debtors uh, interest on investment any and any other receipts will come on the debit side coming to the credit side so opening balance will be recorded on the debit side as usual closing balance will come towards credit side as by balance carried down and credit side will have the payment side so cash purchases or stationery paid salary paid or interest paid or drawings all that will appear on the credit side so it is cash account which is receipts and payments this consists of receipts and payments sometimes based on the question we may have to find out opening cash also so recording all the other items whatever balancing amount we get towards debit side will be opening cash balance sometimes the amount the difference amount that comes to at credit side will be closing cash balance sometimes opening and closing cash balance would have been given so whatever difference you get towards debit side will be treated as additional capital so cash account depends on the items given in the question looking into that we will have to prepare the cash or bank account and if bank balance is given on the liability side of the balance sheet that opening credit balance of bank or cash should be brought towards credit side as by balance brought down because it is bod it represents bod so bank credit balance if it is given towards liability side should be transferred towards the credit side so this is how you prepare the cash or bank account in order to find out the closing balance or additional capital or the opening cash then comes preparation of br account debtors account bills payable account and creditors account so br account is prepared to find out either opening balance or closing balance or br received or br honored 
So each of these accounts like bills receivable account, debtors account, bills payable and creditors account. Let us discuss in detail from the next slide onwards. Coming to preparation of BR account. So BR account is prepared in the following way. So when we prepare the BR account, we may have to find out the opening BR depending on the question given in the problem or closing BR or cash received against BR or BR received. So opening balance of BR will appear towards debit side as two balance brought down. So bring down the opening balance of PR towards debit side and closing balance of BR towards credit side as buy balance carried down. Now BR received will be a contra entry. Contra entry here means it affects both BR and debtors account. Therefore, BR received will appear in two places, one in BR account and one will be in the debtors account. So for BR received, the entry will be journal entry will be BR account debit to debtors account. So BR account is debited. So we go to the debit side, use the word to intern what is credited, debtors. So two debtors will be BR received entry in the BR account. For the BR received, we'll have to make the entry in the BR account as well as debtors account. Then cash, any cash received against BR will appear towards credit side of BR account as buy cash. So buy cash account, BR honored. That is, we are receiving cash against the BR will be record towards, recorded towards credit side as by cash account and similarly like BR received BR dishonored will also be a contra entry which will affect both BR and debtors account. So entry will be towards credit side by debtors account. So BR dishonored will appear towards credit side. Okay. So this is a contra entry. So similarly this entry will appear towards in debtors account as to BR account. So this is how we prepare the BR account to see whatever is the required balance that we are supposed to find out. The next is debtors account. So debtors account is prepared to find out again either opening balance or closing balance or credit sales or cash received from debtors or BR received from debtors. So let us look into in detail how to prepare the debtors account. The debtors account is prepared in the following manner. So in debtors account, we have to bring down the opening balance towards debit side as we brought down the balance even in the BR account. So two balance brought down, opening balance will be brought down. Similarly, closing balance will be appearing towards credit side as buy balance carried down. Here we have learned contra entry. So BR received and BR dishonored will be a contra entry. We have taken in the BR account also and we have to take even in the debtors account also. So for BR received, the entry in the debtors account appears towards credit side as buy BR account. So BR received will be entered towards credit side. We make the posting from the BR account. That way also we can learn. So BR received will appear towards debit side in BR account. That will be transferred as by BR in the credit side of debtors account. Likewise, BR dishonored will appear in the debit side of debtors account as to BR account. Dishonor. Dishonor will appear towards debit side of debtors account. So we transfer the contra entry. So BR received and BR dishonored is recorded. Then coming to any cash received against debtors. So cash received against debtors should appear on the credit side of debtors account as buy cash. So any cash received will be recorded as buy cash in the credit side. Bad debts. If bad debts is given, you will have to record as buy bad debts in the credit side of debtors account. But whereas RBD and bad debts recovered will not come to the debtor account, it should not appear in the debtor account at all because it doesn't affect the debtors account. I have given the note here also. So RBD bad debts recovered, keep in mind, should not appear on the credit side. Only bad debts should be uh, recorded on the credit side of debtors account. And uh, any discount allowed will be by discount allowed. So any sales returns given in the question will also appear towards credit, so credit side of uh, debtors account. With these few items, debtors accounts will be prepared. So any cash received on the credit side of debtors account, any cash received against debtors, BR received, bad debts, discount allowed and sales returns will be record, recorded towards credit side and any closing balance. Here also, now after this, sometimes you may have to find out opening balance or closing balance, sometimes credit sales. Now see, we have made the entry of opening balance and BR dishonored towards debit side in this format, right? Towards credit side, cash received, BR received, bad debts, discount allowed, sales returns and closing balance. Therefore, the amount that appears towards the balancing amount that appears towards debit side will be considered as credit sales. In few questions, in few problems, credit sales would have been given 
Okay, so the balance that appears appears towards credit side will be closing balance then. So it goes in this way. So here the difference towards debit side will be considered as credit sales. This is how we prepare the debtors account. So in this particular session, the second session of this chapter, you have learned how to what are the steps in the preparation of conversion of single entry. So there you have learned preparation of opening statement of office, then cash or bank account, then BR and debtors account. In the next session, we will learn about BPN, creditors account, and also trading and PL account and balance sheet.